what to do and what not to do in an audition. Every audition is a learning experience and you never can learn too much. So every audition you can go to, you certainly should try. First of all, you need to pat yourself on the back. You are doing one of the bravest things in the world. To step into an audition room, to have yourself in front of people who you may or may not ever have met, who you are hoping will hire you. Uh, most people, they may go to a job interview a couple times in their life. You, every time you're auditioning, maybe several times a week, at least a few times a month, are going into that place and putting yourself in front of people and hoping they like you. You might get um, a script that you've never seen before. Don't worry, don't panic, don't freak out. But there are a few things that you don't want to do. So if you get this script and they ask you to read from it, don't bring it up here. <laughs> it's the worst thing you can do. Splendid creature, ooh la la. Splendid creature, splendid, splendid. Um, what on earth has he written down here? Oh, um. <laughs> I told him, you're making a big mistake. Henry, he wouldn't listen. Well, that's his funeral. Repetition is the key in our practice, and so an audition can't just come out of nowhere. If it's going to be a true performance that's going to show a broad range of what we can do, we need to practice it and develop it. Always just be enthusiastic about the person that you're talking to or the person in front of you, because if you're all wrapped up in the thoughts whirling through your mind, it's easy to get nervous and anxious and all worked up. How not to be nervous? Look at the wall and act like nobody's there. When rehearsing a piece, it tends to get stuck in your brain in a certain monotone, so I do whatever I can to break it out of its mold, take it down to its tiny pieces. So I memorize the entire thing, and then I'll take it by its sections, I'll break it down into beats, and I'll think about how each beat can be applied as if I were talking to someone else. You don't want to walk in and show them how nervous you are, you don't want to be looking down and apologizing for yourself. You want to walk in strongly, proudly, and confidently state your name. Jennifer Scabetta. As we go into an audition space, very often we get locked in by fear. Because, you know, when you're performing a show, you can get caught up in the story and, and in the production. Uh, but when you are auditioning, uh, we just have us in front of people hoping they like us. Um, so we need to take that kind of mentality away from ourselves as much as possible and focus on some tangible things that can help us to be grounded. Here's one thing not to do. Apologize. Here's what that might look like. I don't know. He seemed good. Better. The meds seem to be working. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Let me start again. You can see how that doesn't work, right? When I was first starting in acting and I had no formal training whatsoever, I did everything wrong an actor could do in that first impression. I wrote my own piece, I didn't introduce myself or my pieces, and I asked if I could exit the stage and enter in character. What's up? Mind the light? Hi! Um... I'm glad to be here. Uh, is it okay if I exit? I'd like to enter in character. Why did you do that to me? I did not deserve that! Good afternoon, my name is Joshua Jones. My first piece today is going to be from Henry IV Part One, the role of Prince Hal. So when this loose behavior I cast off, Pay the debt I never promised. By how much better than my word I am, by so much shall I falsify men's hopes. The nervousness, even if you have a little bit, if you can learn to use it for your energy level, rather than just, uh, you know, coming off 
as being nervous. You can hide a lot of that by converting the nervous energy into constructive energy. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is the place for the audition. Where, where would you like me to stand? Is this okay? Do you want me to sleep? You must understand that, that, that you know, once I get on camera, I, I do much better than I, than I do in audition. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but you know, I, I'm sort of new at this and I must admit I'm <laughs> a little nervous about the whole thing. Hey, hi, how are you? Yeah, great day out, isn't it? Okay, let's get on with this audition. Everybody should remind themselves that we have no control over what the director has in their head. That's all you have to worry about. Just do your best. If you are auditioning and you don't get the role, it's not the end of the world. You can cry a little bit about it, but that's it. There's a role that's made just for you. There's tons of roles, actually, that are made just for you. But you gotta put the work in, so just read up on your scripts, know what you're going into, and know that when the time is right, the part that you are looking for, the part that's made for you, will be there. So just keep at it and you'll get it.